American nightmare. I have the grandson of a plumber. I have Cody Rhodes, first time ever. Cody Rhodes and Ricochet. WCPW for the internet championship. And if there's anybody who knows about being an internet sensation, it's me. So Cody Rhodes, you might be bulletproof. That's okay because tonight, after I give you a 6.30 off the top rope, or after I kick you in the head and knock you out, I will be taking that championship home with me. Ricochet is one of the most talked about wrestlers in the world and he has a chance here to be even more talked about Alex if he can become the WCBW Internet Champion. Dave Bradshaw, Ricochet, alongside Will Ospreay blew up the internet with that incredible match they had in New Japan but now Ricochet faces a challenge of a completely different variety in the son of a true wrestling legend who he's gone on to become a living legend all on his own, the WCBW Internet Champion Cody Rhodes. Now when Cody Rhodes left WWE and tried to make an impact on the indie scene, he could well have modeled himself after Ricochet who has dominated independent wrestling wherever he's been. But will that domination turn into title victory with the most hotly contested prize in British wrestling on YouTube today? We will find out in just a moment. Here in Manchester. WCPW lights out, awaits the arrival of the grandson of a plumber. If there was ever any doubt that Cody Rhodes is the real deal, and why would there have been any in the first place, but at Kirby Mania, Cody Rhodes, fresh from traveling halfway around the world to be here, after appearing in the Tokyo Dome at Wrestle Kingdom, defeated Zack Sabre Jr. in one of the most impressive matches we've seen here in this company. And in the sports entertainment PG era world of wrestling we currently live in, it's easy for new fans to forget the era that came before them. I'm not talking about the Attitude Era. I'm talking about when wrestlers were men, when they would travel the world, when people like Ric Flair would fly all the way across the United States, over to Japan, Australia, defending the NWA title. And of course, a man like Ric Flair, in fact, a legendary rival of Flair was Dusty Rhodes, the father of that man. And you've got to believe that up in heaven, Dusty is looking down at his son with complete and utter pride for rejuvenating what it means to be an independent professional wrestler in the year 2017. Now, I've said this before, but I have more respect for Cody Rhodes than I can really put into words for his decision to take his career into his own hands, to leave WWE and to pursue a career out there in the, the wide world, so to speak. And uh, this kind of match, this kind of opponent is exactly what he had in mind when he made that decision. One person he didn't have in mind was Marty Skrull, who we know will be the challenger of whoever wins this match. And as we heard from Skrull earlier, the person he wants to win is Cody Rhodes, because Cody Rhodes did not put Skrull on that list, but was, was on the list was the Battle of Los Angeles, which Skrull would not only be in, and not only beat Cody Rhodes in, but then would go on to win. So, you know that Marty Skrull is watching this one with bated breath, but the truth is that either Cody Rhodes or Ricochet against Skrull would be incredible confrontations. Yeah, and you know who won the Battle of Los Angeles in 2015? Zack Sabre Jr., who Cody Rhodes has beaten. You know who won it in 2014? Ricochet. Wow. 
I feel like we should sing the circle of life. It's a circle no, of life. Please don't do it. It's a wheel of fortune. It's a leap of faith. All right. OK. Caught you watching that film the other day. You were crying when oh, Mufasa died. Totes emotion. I learned that from B Priestley. Totes and Moshe. Ricochet gives Rhodes a clean break in the corner. And not only did he give him a clean break, but he made sure he got well away from the WCPW Internet Champion. And Rhodes won the Internet Championship at the end of November at the Elite WCPW, defeating El Riguero. Before that, of course, also had a huge match here in this very city of Manchester, the main event of True Legacy, where he was unsuccessful against Kurt Angle. And if you're watching this on What Culture Extra, in fact, you'd only watch this on What Culture Extra, thank you for joining us, and hopefully the money you spent on membership has been rewarded just by Zack Sabre Jr. and Travis Bank, but now you have Ricochet and Cody Rose, and that's the kind of stuff that you can only find exclusively here. Not Loaded, not Kirby Mania, not Culture Extra, and we're happy that we can bring it into your I mean, I'm saying we, it's not really me. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, you didn't really... I just commentated. Yeah. Well, they make me feel like part of the family. I mean, they don't return my phone calls or my emails, but that's fine. They like me, apparently. I can imagine having you as part of the family. Goes back to uh, Einstein's theory of relatives. Yeah, we need to talk about that, by the way, because he entirely misunderstood Einstein. Alfred Einstein. Albert Einstein. Who was Alfred? Well, that's the start of your problems. Oh, not quite such a clean break that time. As Who's Ra Ramstein? What? Ramstein. He's so, not related to Einstein, is he? They have banned. I've got them in my iTunes. I thought it was a philosophy CD or a science one. It's very heavy. I couldn't get past the intro music. Anyway, carry on. Oh, thank you. Side headlock by Ricochet. Cody will send him to the ropes. Nah, Ricochet's a little too oh. fast for Cody here. Look at this. Shoulder tackle by Cody Rhodes and straight onto the feet goes Ricochet. Well, that's why he's the king. Oh, well, that'll change the direction quickly. Bit of gold dust there in the offence of Cody Rhodes. His brother has taught him so much. Oh, that's that. Ricochet <coughs> using that opportunity to drop kick Cody to the outside. And Ricochet oh, on his feet. The agility of a cat from Ricochet. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. And talking of cats, Cody Rhodes better have nine lives because if Ricochet carries on like this, that title will change hands. That's my prediction. Well, they're away to the, uh, the side here. We can't even see them from where we are. That's... This is what happens when you don't get your commentator's monitors. I can't see from this far. Up in the, in the rafters. I feel like Sting. Oh, oh. Well, that well, we, sounded bad. Yeah, we can hear him. So all of you at home are seeing more than we are at the moment, but this is uh, eventually going to have to get back in the ring. Obviously, the title can only change hands if you're Ricochet. You need this to be in the ring, or you're not going to win that internet title. I don't know, Dave. I can't see what's going on. I feel all right complaining about it. King Ross did it. I saw that WTF moment. I watch. Well, I see him now. They're coming back to the ring. Ricochet has got the uh, the better of Cody Rhodes. And Cody going to have to suck it up here. And Oi, Dave, thank God, thank God that they're here and not on the adjacent side of the ring. What? Adjacent again. You learn some of your own adjectives, will you? It's all subjective. No, it's adjective. Oh, for goodness. Are you trying confused? to annoy me? Rhodes goes into the barrier there. Ricochet. That wasn't, that road led to a dead end. You are beyond the pale today. Well, I've been tanning. Oh, oh, look at that. Eddie Guerrero was the master.
master of that until Ricochet came in and had it, added a springboard and just made it even more dynamic. When you can outdo Eddie Guerrero his own move, that puts you in the rarefied atmosphere of professional wrestling. Look at how quickly you can shift gears though from that incredible athleticism, a very pretty move if you like, to something that certainly wasn't pretty, a right, a right hook to Cody. And as much as, oh God, much as, so much of the offense is, uh, is flashy from Ricochet, he can also brawl, he can also strike, he can mat wrestle as well, he is in many ways the total package. What, Lex Luger? No, not Lex Luger. Seeing it here, Ricochet now switch into a submission. And much like we saw from Cody's opponent at Kirby Mania, hang on, he goes for a cover to Ricochet. That's like we saw from Zack Sabre Jr. against Cody. Stretching him out and trying to dig that elbow into the ribs. Ricochet, oh, what's he doing here? Oh my, oh God. Bad news for the internet champion. And the human spine is not supposed to be contorted in that way, Dave Bradshaw. And Ricochet bashing the skull of Cody Rhodes into the middle turnbuckle. Just adding insult to back injury. Ricochet. Perhaps getting the sense that victory is drawing closer. A man who's not used to defeat, as we said, the uh, winner of the Battle of Los Angeles in 2014, also the best of the Super Juniors that year. But Ricochet has made a mistake there because he wants to keep that pace going and now he is. Oh, there you go. That's what I was going to say. Ricochet got confident. Oh, well, he has every right to be confident because he was nearly the internet champion. Yeah, but don't get too confident that you slow down the pace. Your biggest asset is to have a pace unlike virtually anyone, maybe Will Ospreay, but other than Will Ospreay, a pace unlike anyone in pro wrestling. You want to get Cody Rose working to your pace, do not bring it down to his. And that's not saying Rose is a slouch, it's just saying Ricochet is unlike anything else. Internet Championship so competitive here at WCPW again. Marty Skrull is awaiting the winner of this somewhere down the road and Ricochet is going to the top rope. But Cody's there! Cody has caught Ricochet at that most vulnerable position on the top rope. No way, a delayed superplex. And Ricochet trying to wrestle out of that, kicking his legs, I don't know if that's a good idea, there's only one way to go and that's down! Whoa. Ricochet's body bouncing off the middle of the canvas. But Cody may have hurt himself as well, took a lot of energy to hit that move. And Cody now has to somehow find it in him to take advantage of that superplex. <laughs> referee has a count, we're up to about seven. No, no, the audience were messing with the referee there, Dave Bradshaw, keep up. They were trying to distract the ref. I think we were on a legitimate seven. Anyway, it doesn't matter, they're both up to their feet. And uh, Cody, Trying to block those strikes from Ricochet. Ricochet will come off the ropes. It's a hard elbow onto the champion. Oh, I mentioned Ric Flair earlier. That was straight out of the Ric Flair playbook, that shot. Ricochet again going to the ropes. Cody comes back. Forearm and a clothesline from the grandson of a plumber. He's going for crossroads, crossroads. Oh. Ricochet got out of it, sends Cody into the corner. That was a dangerous moment for the challenger. Up and over goes Cody Rose. Two. Whoa. Surprise Ricochet there and Ricochet. Wow. Power slam. Cover to retain the title. No. What force. What impact. What speed. What a power slam. Cody Rhodes and Ricochet leaving it all in the ring here with the internet title on the line. That lights out. And the crowd totally hypnotized by this one. Well, they better get back in the room, Dave, because this one continues. Up and over goes Ricochet. Really, to back attempt. And Cody Rose elbows his way out. Cody is 
what Ricochet at every turn here. Goes for a sunset flip. Not getting. Oh. Ducks the kick. Ducks another kick. Ricochet again, just too oh. fast. Too fast oh, for Cody. Pretty. And I can oh. do it. No, 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 no. Very, very close though for Ricochet. And this is so hard to call at this point. What an even contest. It's like doing commentary on the Flash's honeymoon. Why would you be commentating on a honeymoon? I don't know. I just mean it would be fast. I'd imagine. I mean, I don't really want to imagine. All right, let's just leave that thought there. Then you didn't say it. Well, Cody is taking a time out here. And you can't really blame him for needing to get his breath back. The pace has been so frenetic. Oh, no! He wasn't taking a time out. He was, he was using a, a bottle of water to try and distract Ricochet. It didn't seem to have any effect, but... Oh, God, there's a, a knee into the temple. Looks like he just rehydrated him. Cody, beautiful disaster. But the champion is too tired to make the cover. And Dave, at this point in the contest, this is anyone's match. I said that already a minute ago. Did you? Yes. I probably said it better. Again, the referee has a count on. Again, Cody is first to his feet. But it's anyone's match at this point in the contest. I know. Cody is lining up Ricochet. Ricochet moves out of the way. Ricochet with a... Go on, get that forearm. Cody follows up. Back and forth. Oh, Nothing but Ricochet to... follows him in, Dave. Look at this. Oh. To the upper back. When that kick. Hold on. Hold on. Springboard. 450. Oh, to the knees. Knees up. Knees up. Cover. The small package from Cody to retain, though. Oh, my heart is beating out of my chest. And I saw that boiler room brawl. Oh. Incredible wherewithal from Cody Rhodes to get the knees up. Yeah, but incredible instincts by Ricochet to kick out. <laughs> Running knee into the jaw. And they have uh, knocked Cody silly. And Cody. Oh, God, Ricochet moved again. Oh, 6 1 9. And Ricochet. Is going to the top, the place where he is most dangerous. Hold on to your hat, stay Bradshaw. Oh, he lands on his feet and rolls through. There's a shooting star attempt, there's a big boot. And another oh. one from Ricochet on Cody. But Rose still standing, Dave. Oh, he catches him, wheelbarrow. Comes through. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Crossroads, crossroads on his head. On his head, Can he? Cody, oh. the cover, the cover, Cody wins, Cody wins. Every time, every time Cody Rhodes steps into a WCPW ring and defends that internet title, we see absolute magic. It was true against Zack Sabre Jr. And it was true tonight against Ricochet. It's unbelievable to imagine that this match would reach and then surpass the expectations I had for it. But Cody Rhodes and Ricochet, my God, what a match. And what a moment for Cody Rhodes, once again proving that that title is staying around his waist here in WCPW for a long, long time to come. Incredible stuff for this crowd in Manchester. And you know what that means, Dave? I it's do. official. Because the dream of Cody Rhodes to redefine himself as a pro wrestler has come true. But the dream of Marty Skull has now also manifest. Because it will be Marty Skull and Cody Rhodes one on one in the coming weeks and months for that very internet championship. Yes, the villain awaits the champion, but that can wait for another day because for this moment, the glory belongs to the grandson of a plumber, our internet champion. We are proud to have Cody Rhodes and Ricochet 
in WCPW. Get out a handshake. Perhaps he had a nice show of respect between two of the greatest in the business today. And two of the fastest in the business today. But speed and high flying ability is going to be left behind in this ring, in this contest. Because coming up next day is our main event. Two of the biggest men in the history of what culture pro wrestling. On one side, it will be a man that revolutionized tag team wrestling. Bully Ray against the WCPW heavyweight champion, and I do mean heavyweight, Drew Galloway. Galloway and Bully Ray for the heavyweight championship of the world. That is next, our main event here on Lights Out.